a planet four times the size of Earth may be skirting the edges of the solar system beyond Pluto, according to new research. Too distant to be easily spotted by Earth-based telescopes, the unseen planet could be gravitationally tugging on small icy objects past Neptune, helping explain the mystery of those objects' peculiar orbits. The claim comes from Rodney Gomez, a noted astronomer at the National Observatory of Brazil in Rio de Janeiro. Gomez presented his recently completed computer model suggesting the existence of the distant planet at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Timberline Lodge, Oregon, earlier this month. Astronomers who attended the talk find Gomez's arguments compelling, but they say much more evidence is needed before the hypothetical planet can be crowned as real. For several years, astronomers have observed that a handful of the small icy bodies that lie in the so-called scattered disk beyond the orbit of the planet Neptune, including the dwarf planet Sna, deviate from the paths around the Sun that would be expected based on the gravitational pulls of all the known objects in the solar system. Sna, for example, swings around the Sun in an extremely elongated orbit, tracing out a very long oval. Sna's orbit is truly peculiar, said Mike Brown, an astronomer at Caltech who led the team that discovered Sna in 2003. However, when Gomez ran the calculations with the addition of the gravitational pull of a massive planet in the outskirts of the solar system, Sna and the other anomalous objects expected orbits fell in line with observations. The unseen planet would be too far away to perceptibly perturb the motions of Earth and the other inner planets but close enough to the scattered disk objects to sway them. This would not be the first time a planet was revealed by way of its gravitational effects on other celestial bodies. The existence of Neptune was hypothesized at the turn of the 19th century, long before the gas giant was actually seen through a telescope in 1846, because of the way it was perturbing the orbit of Uranus. On the other hand, many astronomers spent much of the 1900s searching for an extra planet, dubbed Planet X, beyond the orbit of Neptune, because they believed there were anomalies in the orbits of Neptune and the other gas giants. But it turned out that anomaly in Neptune's orbit was the result of bad observation, Leveson said. The search for Planet X was called off, though some conspiracy theorists believe this was a cover-up of the planet Nibiru which they say is on a collision course for Earth. You can go back 100 years to claims of planets in the outer solar system and they've all eventually gone away, he continued. That should give you pause for thought. Just because there is not a good explanation for the orbits of the scattered disk objects besides another planet, doesn't mean there won't be a good explanation in future.